Hello and welcome! It's Emilia here with an exciting project for you. I will be decorating vintage alarm clock, which is a wooden shape from my collection. The clock has two layers. The top layer is just a ring and you don't need to use it for this project, but I will use it. You can leave it for uh, another one. So to start with, I will paint the base layer. I'm not going to paint inside the layer as I'm, I will be adhering the paper there later. So just on the edges, the top part of the clock and then the ring, which will be my top layer. Little legs and top part of the clock I will paint in dark grey color. And I'm using Allegro paints from Stamperia. They dry really quick and they cover very well. When the paint is uh, dry, you can add more texture. I will be using a stencil from a Christmas collection and volume paste, adding just on the ring, which is my top layer. I messed it up a little bit, but don't worry if it happens to you, because later I will uh, cover that easily. I will go over that uh, places with a red paint. I did it off the camera and then the whole texture I will be inking uh, because at the moment is a very big contrast between that white texture and the red background. So I'm going with an ink, a coffee um, color to blend everything together and to give it a vintage look. For my background I'm using a piece of paper from Gear Up to Christmas collection. I absolutely love this collection, it's super beautiful, it has a very interesting element, so I decided to use this one in my project. And uh, after adhering the paper to the base I'm adding the top layer for that um, piece. I'm using gel medium, you can use uh, any strong glue uh, that dries clear. So adhering that and then I will create a little composition inside my clock. For uh, that I will also use elements from mm, the same collection. The clocks I uh, were on one of the papers. I cut them all out because I wasn't sure which one I will use today. So I have a selection to choose from and I also want to add 25. Uh, so I took those beautiful stamps. They are swirly inside the numbers. I just love that design. And after adhering the uh, clocks, I'm also adding the number on top. You can decorate this project in so many ways and styles. I'm trying to keep it simple but interesting. So for my last elements, I will add beautiful stars from silicone mold. The, it has different sizes. I have chosen a smaller ones, just two little elements to add that 3D uh, interesting detail and then I will go with volume paste and uh, I have a kitchen sponge cut into piece. I will go here and there to create a snow effect. Just tap very lightly on your project where you want the snow to appear. And then to finish it off I will add splats of white acrylic paint and this is it. That's a lovely little project that can be a home decor or a gift for friends or family. So I hope you will create your own. Thanks so much for today and see you soon.